Nana episodes 46 and 47. So Nana is in her room and she was very worried because last night everyone got drunk and she was worried that Nobu was going to hook up with someone because she still wants Nobu and Hachi to get together even if she's not actively pursuing it. Nobu wakes up and interacts with um, Mew who lives next door and now he's thinking oh, I think I want to move I think I bother her and today is the day of the fireworks festival and Shin is like are you gonna are you gonna come? Nobu's actually considering trying to win her back trying to win Hachi back but he's like if she seems happy and she seems fine I won't do anything but if she seems miserable then I will try. In order to go to the fireworks festival they have to put on disguises so I'm really looking forward to seeing how they get all dressed up. Nana is reflecting about how their band is such a great family and like even the manager is so cool and um, they, they all take on the roles of the of like the different family members it's very cute. Hachi gets her 14 week ultrasound and um, she, she's wondering like should I ask about the gender of the baby? But I guess she's um, she's not gonna find out what it is. She's gonna wait. Oh, it looks like Hachi is heading towards the old burger place she used to go to all the time, and Shoji is there, and they haven't talked since the incident. To make it even worse, he's the only one in the store, so it's kind of like, hmm, okay, I guess we should talk. So I guess they've officially decided to name the baby Sachiko. <laughs> like, Takumi really liked that name when um, Hachi brought it up jokingly. So the baby is officially Sachiko. Hachi's actually feeling pretty good because Shoji's like, wow, it's so cool that you're marrying Takumi from Trap Nest. Can you get me Reira's autograph? Takumi is talking to their manager about how Ren is going to marry Nana. And Reira's like, oh, what? Everyone's getting married? Reira's actually happy with the idea of Ren getting married because he think she thinks that his bad habits will go away if he's married to her. They're talking about a commercial promotion. This just seems like they're bringing up too much stuff for there only being an episode and a half left of the show. So I guess part of the reason why Ren may have proposed to Nana was in order to get the image of being used by Nana out of everyone's heads. Reira doesn't agree with that, and Takumi ends up yelling at her. Then Reira points out that it might be a bad thing if Takumi and Ren both get married so quickly, considering most of their fans are young women. She points out that Many of them are just simply attracted to Ren and Takumi. Meanwhile, Hachi finally get a, gets a chance to confront Shoji on how he was such a dick. Like, oh, you said you love me and you cheated on me? What the hell? Finally, finally he apologizes. This is his first... It, what did that ha happen, like, episode 14 or something? This is the first time he apologized. So he says, uh, I, we won't see each other anymore. I'm sorry, it's my fault goodbye. And then they both kind of just stand there like, you go. No, no, you go first. They finally do part ways on relatively good terms. Oh my god, are these their disguises? I didn't even realize who they were at first. <laughs> Shin is in like a French maid uniform and um, Nobu has like a hat on and long hair and he's like made to look kind of chunky and then Yasu had on a pink wig but then he changed it to a different wig and Nana has on like a long wig. So Shoji meets up with Sachiko and blah blah blah. I really don't care about this relationship at all. It's it's impossible to make it endearing. That's the end of episode 46. There's only one more episode to watch. Thank God. Oh, oh, have we done a time skip for this last episode? Oh, the baby is now uh, not Sachiko. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I have to gather my thoughts. I wasn't expecting this. So, okay, Sayuki. Um, that's the name of the baby. Is, uh, okay. And so Yasu's there and they're, they're hanging out in the old apartment and, um, okay. <laughs> I did not see this coming. I'm just, I'm very taken aback by it. Shin walks in and he's super tall and super handsome and wearing a yukata and broad shoulders and stuff. He really grew up. Every year they all get together to go to this fireworks festival and Nobu shows up. He seems the same. It's weird that Nobu was just like, oh, I haven't seen you, Yasu, in a couple of months. Did I say Sayuki? Satsuki. I... why can't I get this girl's name straight? The, the girl is pretty obviously Takumi's child, so at least we've cleared that up. Looks like Nobu still likes Hachi. And she seems to be having some kind of issue where she's like, don't worry about me. Oh, now we're going back in time again, back to the original night. So it's still the four of them, the, the band. 
um, blast sitting in the room waiting for Hachi to show up. But she's in the park crying because she just talked to Shoji. Oh my god, I could really do without this drama with this Shoji thing. Oh my god, get over it. This is why you should never confide in me when you have love troubles, because that's what I feel. So they're calling her up and she's holding the phone and she's like, what do I do? I feel too upset to go see them now, but I don't want to not show up, not say anything about it. Oh. So she finally picks up the phone and it's Nana and she's like, hurry up, come on. And Hachi's like, oh, this is the first time they've talked in like four months. And Hachi confesses that she's afraid to see Nobu. Nana lies. She just says that Nobu's not there. And so Hachi's like, oh, so I can go. So Nobu takes that as his cue to leave. And um, Nana's like, no. You have to stay here. Nana is interpreting this all as Hachi is afraid to meet you again because she's afraid she's gonna get all swept up and fall in love with you all over again. I know what that feels like. Nana's kind of aggressively challenging Nobu to um, get involved and to like save Hachi. Shin does warn him, like, don't get provoked. Nana's clearly just baiting you. Everyone goes to the festival except for Nobu who waits in the room because I guess that's where Hachi's gonna show up. But we know they don't get together, right? Because we saw the future already. <laughs> the doorbell rings and Hachi's standing outside. Nobu's like getting ready to open the door. And he's like freaked out. He's like, can I do this to her? Can I make her fall in love with me again? Is that fair? Hachi calls up Shin and she's like, what's going on? Why isn't anyone answering the door? Are you guys already at the fireworks? And Shin's like, uh. <laughs> Shin covers for Nobu. He's like, yeah, we're already done with the fireworks. Come on down. She leaves and Nobu sits in the apartment feeling worthless. So she shows up and she meets the group again. And she's like, oh, Shin, your outfit's so cute. And they're watching the fireworks together. Hachi and Nana are not talking. Finally, Nana's like, well, why haven't we gotten invitations to your wedding yet? And Hachi's like, oh, you'll come. Of course I'll invite you. But Nana does kind of jab at her and say, um, Nobu backed out so that you could be happy. Um, so if you're not happy, that's not fair to him. So they all watch the fireworks together and Hachi reflects about it. So then back into the future scene, the fireworks start there too. And I'm left like, what? Okay, so I guess that's the end of Nana as a show. I, did, I didn't get it. I did not get it. I don't understand why they brought in the future scene. It didn't really prove anything and it really just the only thing it did was spoil that that Nobu and Hachi were not going to get back together. I don't I didn't get it. Maybe when I think more about it I won't be so harsh but just mm, fell flat. My next Nana video will just be the review and then I'll be starting a new show. Um, maybe I'll keep it a secret for now. So I'll see you next time for that. Bye!